Could a drug slow down or even turn back the aging clock? It sounds like science fiction, but research in a field called epigenetics suggests it could be possible. Dr. Rana Patrick here. Today we're going to talk about aging, and specifically epigenetic aging. Everyone's chronological age increases at the same speed, but we also have a biological age, how our bodies are actually aging, and our biological clocks tick at slightly different rates from each other. So you may be 50 years old, but with a biological age of 45, meaning your risk of age-related conditions like, say, heart disease and cancer is more similar to the risk a 45-year-old faces. So how can we turn back biological age? That's where epigenetics comes in, the study of processes that can affect gene expression without changing the sequence of DNA itself. One of these processes is DNA methylation. Structures called methyl groups are added and removed along the length of your DNA. These can turn genes off and back on again. As you age, the methylation of your DNA changes in a predictable way, like clockwork. The speed of this epigenetic clock is slightly different for everyone, depending on your individual genetics and, to a lesser extent, lifestyle. Dr. Steve Horvath was among the first to create a test to measure someone's epigenetic age, the Horvath clock. The Horvath clock's breakthrough was that it can accurately measure how old someone is to within 3.6 years just by looking at their DNA. But epigenetic age can tell us a lot more. It can be an indication of true biological age. We use the term epigenetic age acceleration to describe when your DNA seems older than you are. And by comparing the age of different organs in someone's body, you might be able to find out which ones are aging faster or slower. One of Dr. Horvath's more recent clocks, the Grim Age Clock, can predict the risk of cancer, heart disease, and death in general. And unlike many other ways of measuring disease risk, this even works in young people. This is all early research, and just because a test works in a context of a scientific study doesn't mean it can predict when you as an individual will get sick. But that could change soon. And even more exciting, an early trial shows that we might be able to turn back epigenetic clocks. Nine participants took a combination of drugs for a year, and it reduced their epigenetic age by two and a half years. But there's still a big unanswered question. Does turning back your epigenetic age reduce your biological age as well? Could it actually make you healthier? Or is it just a facelift for your DNA, making it look younger, but not act younger? Many researchers are optimistic, hoping treatments based on this work could prevent or at least slow age-related illnesses, and perhaps even the aging process itself. What is clear is that we can use epigenetic clocks to learn about how and why we age, and especially the processes of aging hidden within our cells. I sat down with Dr. Horvath to talk through his work, where this exciting field of research is headed. You won't want to miss that incredible interview. He thinks that the dream of an actual anti-aging drug could be a lot closer than you might think. I'm Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and I'll catch you next time. You got all the way to the end of this video and you still aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel? Click subscribe and make sure you check out that amazing interview with Dr. Steve Horvath. Let me know in the comments if you think the sauna is changing my epigenome.